All right, guys, today we're going to talk about the terrible triad injury of the elbow. Uh, the terrible triad obviously involves three things. It involves an elbow dislocation, a radial head or neck fracture, and a coronoid fracture. Um, these are often traumatic in nature, and it's important to note that the dislocation most commonly occurs in a posterolateral lateral direction uh, and is often associated with an LCL injury. You may be asked in which order do the structures of the elbow fail. Um, it's important to note that they fail from the lateral side first to the medial side. So the lateral side will fail first, the anterior capsule will fail second, and then the medial side will fail third. Um, it's important to note that the instability uh, that is associated with terrible triad injuries is often due to the fact that you lose both primary and secondary stabilizers of the elbow. For example, the primary stabilizer against valgus stress is the medial collateral ligament. It's injured in this particular um, injury. The secondary stabilizer to valgus stress is the radial head, which has also been compromised with this injury. You also have a coronoid fracture, which helps prevent posterior subluxation beyond 30 degrees of flexion. That's involved. And then the lateral collateral ligament, which helps prevent against posterior lateral instability. So when you factor all these things together, this results in posterior lateral instability of the elbow. Treatment really is operative um, at this point. Uh, with respect to the radial head, you are either going to do open reduction internal fixation or replace it. Uh, so open reduction internal fixation is indicated for non-comminuted fractures involving less than 40% of the articular surface. An easy pimp question uh, with respect to open reduction internal fixation of radial head fractures is uh, the safe zone for plate fixation. So remember, it's about a 90 to 110 degree arc uh, from the radial styloid to the lichus tubercle. And you can see whether the arm's in pronation, neutral, or supination, that that uh, area does not articulate with the proximal radial ulnar joint and thus is a safe zone for fixation. Radial head arthroplasty is indicated for comminuted radial head fractures. Coronoid fractures involving less than 10% of the coronoid have shown to not confer elbow instability in cadaveric studies and often are not re uh, repaired if they are that small. But it is important to note that the order of fixation typically occurs from the inside out. Uh, so you will start with the coronoid, then the radial head, then the lateral collateral ligament. If after fixing these three things, uh, the elbow is found to be unstable, we'll turn our attention to the medial side. If after addressing the medial collateral ligament, the elbow remains unstable, then often we'll have to put on an external fixator to um, confer stability. So take home points, remember that the injury occurs beginning laterally and works its way medially. Uh, the dislocation is posterior lateral in nature. Fixation typically is performed from inside out. Radial head arthroplasty is indicated for comminuted fractures. Open reduction in internal fixation uh, is indicated for um, the non-comminuted radial head fractures. And make sure you know the safe zone. Uh, the medial collateral ligament is addressed if instability persists after addressing the coronoid, the radial head, and the lateral collateral ligament. If after the MCL is addressed and it's still unstable, then we're going to put on an external fixator. I hope you learned something. Thanks for joining.